and serving to each other. You don't have to get excited real quick. But I want you to hear tonight. Wow, amen. Sir. I yeah. want us to amen. Amen. We, can, we can release this this morning, but the right. first seven right. is the 17th chapter. Do you not know that there are still people that's dealing with identity crisis? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 There are still some people yeah. that's not all the way confident Come on now. in what they know God has called them yeah. to operate. Yeah. 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 You believe that? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Once a person is confident in what God has called uh -huh. them and gifted them to operate, yeah. okay. they understand that, listen here, I don't care what your gifting is and what your calling is, yeah. I ain't going to be threatened by it. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. You right about Most of the time, time that we're yeah. threatened when we yeah. think somebody got more than yeah. we have. Right. That's it. That's it. Right. right. And yeah. she checked this out. When when you know who you are, who you are, that's it. That's it. you become a threat to say the kid. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, yes, so you yes, don't you know how, how how much of a threat you are come on, come on. to say the kingdom until yes. you recognize your worth in your yes. If you really, somebody said, if you really knew who you were, when people do not know their identity, they will often miss their purpose. Let me say that again. When people do not know their identity, they will often miss their purpose. Because you're still dealing with identity crisis. What is identity? Identity is the come the condition of being oneself and not another. Come on, come on. Let me say it again. The condition of being oneself uh -huh. and not trying to be somebody else. All right, all right. Oh, Amen, sir. We got too many copycats. Right. Amen, sir. That's it. And too many people That's trying to be like somebody else. Amen, Function sir. like somebody else. Yeah. Operate like somebody else. Yeah. Amen, somebody. You're a copycat. You're not original. All right. All right. You have to know that what God gave you yeah. it is original. Yeah. When he gave somebody else, come on, he didn't give to you. And when we come to the grip to understand what he have anointed you and gifted you to do, it's like no, no, it's unique in his own way. I was so angry God to pray. And you don't have to try to measure up to nobody else's expectation. You don't have to try to be like nobody else. Come on, somebody. Because see, it's going to only work when you understand that what God has purpose and a day for you to be, it ain't like no, no. Watch this right here. This is good right here. Yes, yes, right here. Yes, 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 the book of First Samuel, we're going there. Amen. And you got your Bibles. Amen. 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 You got your Bibles? Amen. Amen. So, so uh, uh, the devil tried to keep people from knowing who they are. That's real. He keep you, and that's why you keep having these different cycles with these crisis issues. Uh -huh. That's right. Because Satan trying to rob yeah. or who you really are. Uh -huh. right. That's why most of the time people have to have four or five confirmations. Yeah. Hey, Concerning right. what they say God. Because if you never sure about your calling, Come on now. That's Satan it. robbing you yeah. and you yeah. said you heard God. Right. Once you heard God, you got to stand on that. Yeah. Even if no man has confirmed to you what you know God has said, you got to be sure what he said. Because you can't be out here in this season operating and functioning something that you ain't heard God tell you. Because you're failing that. Come on, sir. You won't succeed in that. We got too many people operating in stuff, operating in offers and positions, and come on, sir, and in calling that they ain't never heard God say. The devil tried to keep people from knowing who they are. Yeah. He blinds the mind of many right. to keep them from their true identity. Uh -huh. A person who knows who he is yeah. becomes a threat to Satan. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say, when a person knows who he is, 
See, you know why you're a threat. Come on, somebody. Because you have finally come to the point that you have discovered who you are in the kingdom. And you ain't trying to be like nobody. You can tell with people. They ain't trying to be like nobody. Because they got their own original style. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And they're not trying to be like nobody. They are comfortable and they are content in that they God has called and gifted their own soul to operate in. And they ain't looking for nothing else. Amen. They ain't trying to step in a role that God ain't called them. Look at Billy Graham. Billy Graham was just comfortable and being a great evangelist. He wasn't trying to be a prophet. He wasn't trying to be an apostle. But he perfected what he was called to do. Uh, just like, what's the name of the preacher that died? Come on, Tyler. What's the name? Hey, man, hit me with it. Hit me with it. Shabbat. Hey, man, we're operating milk and size and wonder. But he stayed in advance. He wasn't trying to pastor. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. He wasn't trying to be a prophet. He heard what God called him to do. And he stayed in his anointing. That's it. 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 That's it.
You trying to impress for uh -huh. No, sir. Some of you folks that think that you're a certain way. Come out here. But the anointing not validate Come who you should be. Come out here. The anointing has to validate yeah. what we say God has called. That's God right. To show up. Jesus was a man of prudence. Like so God went to Jesus yes. with the Holy Ghost yes. and with power, yes. who went about doing good, yes. healing all that was oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Am I right? Yes. Amen. He was a man approved of God. Some of us hadn't been approved in earth right yet. Amen. And sometimes when God had not approved your ministry, amen, somebody, that's the time you need to prepare yourself. Yes. Amen, somebody. A lot of times, God can't approve her because he can't trust her. That's right. That's good. Help us. See, see, let, let me, let me, let me give you a tip. Sometimes, and we got to quit, quit, quit saying everybody's anointed. Yeah, that's good, that's sir. Right. Because, it's, because we said we have the anointed one, which is Christ in us. We said it, the anointed one, Christ is the anointed one. Right. And everybody now says, I am an anointed Good, teach us. I'm anointed. But see, what is the anointing? Mm, come on, work. And we got cut, and then we'll quit claiming this anointing, and we know we ain't possessing Help us. Wow. Help, sir. Help, sir. Because the first thing, the anointing has got to be priceless. Wow. And see, the anointed just don't come on everybody. Right. You can want to be anointed. But don't mean he gonna anoint you. There's a lot of people seek the anointing for 20 years. And they think when they get the Holy Ghost, they got the anointing. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. Come on. He has anointed me. Well, to heal the sick. He was anointed me to preach deliverance. He anointed me to preach deliverance to the cow. He has anointed me to do this thing. The spirit on. See, a lot of folk can't get anointed because they can't be trusted. Yeah. See, the anointing got to be trusted. God, let me tell you. See, if you already, your heart is mean, you anger, you ain't flowing in no anointing. Because, see, we would see God can flow through a person that heart ain't right. Y'all right. hear me up here. See, we, 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 cause, see, the first thing the anointing gonna do is gonna destroy that yoke that's in your life. The anointing is a yoke that's short. And if you can't destroy anger and bitter in your own life, how you gonna destroy it when it's on everybody else's life? That's what I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm still right. trying to figure this point out. Because I got too many folk talking about I'm anointed. All right, all right. Now. All that anointing that you say you possess. Right. Amen. And it ain't changing your spirit. Your Come on. Right. See, the anointing ain't going to continue to rest on the life that's, that's right. not obedient. That's right. That yeah. was yeah. See, when you are anointed, you got to pray for folk that don't even like you. Yeah, if right. you got a problem with praying for folk that did you wrong, you ain't ready for the anointing. Yeah. I mean, you got, you got to pray for folk that walk through the line that just cuss you out, just talk bad about you, and you know it. But yet still, you still can look beyond their fault and see their need. And see, if you ain't ready for that, you ain't ready for the anointing. That's why he ain't gave it to a lot of people. You might got a gift in your life. You might be gifted to do something. And see, we misconcept gifted and anointed. We, we, we misconcept appointed and anointed. Amen. Saul was never anointed. He just received an anointed to be able to get it with David. Come on, somebody. Because Saul's heart was never with God. But David was. I found me a man at the old heart. When he came down, the prophet came to Jesse out. And he called all them seven boys. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. And the first person he saw was the elder boy. And the boy seemed like he was the one. Come on. And the prophet said, Yeah, surely the anointing is upon your life. And he said, Look at you, Samuel. You're going to miss amen, my divine appointment because you're looking on the outside. He looked like she looked like she got it. They looked like they could amen, operate in front. It ain't what they look like on the other side. He said it was in their heart. He already know that their heart went out with somebody get God to praise him. He said, I ain't received him. He said, man, look on the outside. But God look in the heart. And my question is, God ain't put nobody in leadership that don't got his heart. 